What's going on, YouTube? What's going on, my fellow subscribers, my fellow hunters, and my fellow collectors? It's your boy, the sick one, and I'm back with another one. Yep. Another one-third scale prime one statue. And right here we have one of the most anticipated statues of the year. The Poison Ivy Hush version. Woo! Oh my God, she's here, she's in the house. Let's go! What the f This program contains some material that many parents would not find suitable for children under the age of 14. View with discretion as advised. No, for real. Shit's about to go down. Okay, guys, so let's take a look at the base. This is number 342 of 700. It's a beautiful base. Nice picture of Poison Ivy, Prime One Studios, and Batman Hush Poison Ivy version. That's badass. The base is very nicely detailed. Very nicely detailed. See how the way they have the grays, they have, still have some plants coming up. They have like these beans that are coming out of the ground. It looks like metal. Um, the rocks sculpted all the way around. Beautiful scope. Still got these green vines. Badass piece, big pieces of stone sculpted in. Go right here, you got these bricks that have been sculpted in with the vines going over the bricks. This is really, really dope. Very, very nice. Nice. Pretty heavy too. So these are the plants that hold the Venus fly traps, the smaller ones. There's one here. There's two of these. This is the bigger one. This is the smaller one. There's two of them. It's pretty cool. Very nicely detailed. The paintwork on this is dope. Really cool. Looking with a peg. Nice. These are the Venus fly traps that go in them. This is the bigger one. Look at the branches. Oh my God. See how the way the veins and the, and, and the vines and everything go around the branches and the paintwork on this? Phenomenal. Look at that. Look at the tongue. The inside of the mouth is just badass. Very nicely detailed. This is the smaller one. This is really nice. Same thing. Really nice. Very nicely detailed. The color, the paintwork, everything. The way the, the vines are going wrapped around this branch. So also has little branches that go throughout the base really nice this one right here goes on the vine the real big vine itself this is one of the vines that go wrapped around poison ivy's body this is also nicely detailed very nicely sculpted so the way they got the, the leaves sculpted on and painted really nice this gets pegged in her back through here and this is this comes in two pieces that's the first piece. This is the second piece right here. It's also nicely sculpted, very nicely painted. Beautiful work, very nice. Um, this right here gets attached. Uh, this gets plugged in. This also has a peg right there. And this peg gets pegged in to this part right there. And then this wraps around her waist and then it comes around her body. Nice. This is a very nice stone pillar that gets pegged. Very big peg, really big peg. Very nicely detailed. It looks like stone. It's painted to look like broken, like it's broken right there, broken piece of the stone. This is nicely detailed. This is a nice big piece. Um, it's really not that heavy. This is made of poly stone. Very nice work. You look real good. Look how the way they painted that. Look at the cracks. And all the crevices in it. This is a very nice piece. Very nicely detailed. 
badass. All right, guys, this is a massive piece. This is one of the branches. This is massive. This is very nicely, very nicely painted. Look at how the, this is painted. It's phenomenal. This is very, very big. This piece is not that heavy. Um, I don't think this is made of polystone, but this is not that heavy at all. Nicely painted. Gigantic peg. This goes right into the base. Now, this is two parts. This is only one part. I'm about to show you the other part that this goes to. But this one right here is the one that goes into the actual base. This is the other piece. This is made of polystone. See how it has the nice steel peg right there? I'm sure that this peg goes all the way up because this gets attached to the other one. But look at that giant Venus flytrap. Oh my God, look at the detail in that. Are you serious? This is phenomenal. This is phenomenal. Look at that. Are you serious? That is badass. The detail in that is crazy. Look at those teeth. Look at these teeth. Look at how the way the tongue is in, in the Venus flytrap mouth. The eyes, beautiful scope. This branch, this is a beautiful sculpted piece. Painted phenomenally. This is crazy. Badass. Damn. All right, guys. These are the last pieces. These are the tentacles that go into the giant branch. And as you can see, they're painted. So they color code it to go into the slots. Now, these are made of a high quality plastic. This is not made of polystone, which is dope that they did that because this, if this falls, it will break. But they made it like this, which is great. There are five pieces to this. They all sculpted differently, different shapes, different sizes. The paint is almost equal. But these are dope. These are five pieces that go into the statue. Man, this is badass. And here she is, guys. Let's get up close and personal. There's Poison Ivy. Wow. Look at that head sculpt. Look at that head sculpt. Are you kidding me? Look at the body. Look how the way they got the veins sculpted on her, her dress, her hair. Look at the back of her hair. Beautiful sculpt. Very nice sculpt. The color of her hair is beautiful. Look at that. That's an ass. I thought this was a hemorrhoid first, but no. no I'm sorry. That's the peg that goes in to the bottom of her foot. Look how the way they detail the bottom of her foot. You don't even see that part when you're posing her. Look at her dress. I don't know what to call it, whether it's a bathing suit or dress or whatever. This is very nicely detailed. See how the way to put texture on it. Real nice texture. Scope the leads on her breasts. All the way down. Look at her legs. All sculpted leaves on her legs with the vines. Painted beautifully. No overspray. Look at this leg. Beautiful. Look at that leg, man. The paintwork and everything. Look at that down to her toes are detailed with the veins on her toes we got the vine wrapped all the way around her leg look at her back look at her fingers look at her fingernails look at the sculpt on this crazy beautiful Hi y'all, so if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos and if you've been watching my videos and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button right now 
subscribe, join the team, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell so you can know when it's the next time my videos drop. Man, here it is, y'all. Here she is. She's finally here. And oh my God. Whoa. Um, man, I'm speechless right now. Um, prime one. This ball here. is crushed. This has been rated um, so far. The number one, the best poison ivy ever made. The top of the line out of all of them that's come out. Um, man, everybody's raging over this statue. Everybody's going crazy over it. Um, everything about this statue is phenomenal. Everything, just everything, everything. Of course, you know this is the poison ivy hush version. Uh, more exotic poison ivy. More, you know what I'm saying, um, sexual poison ivy. Uh, man, this is just... Um, this is blowing me away, man. And this pretty much is being rated the number one Poison Ivy statue to ever come out. Uh, it's even been rated number one by the Batman statue collector himself. It is by far a Grand Slam home run win for the Prime One Studio one-third scale Hush Poison Ivy. <laughs> That's pretty dope. But uh, man, as for me, as for myself, uh, this is this is really this is really crazy, man. This is um dope. Um, right now, I mean, everything that's been coming out from Prime One, everything. That's why I'm so stuck on Prime One, and, and I just been just been buying all the Prime Ones that's been coming out. Boom, boom, boom. As they come out, I just been snatching them up, and I also been hunting all the older ones too, the ones that I love and the ones, the ones that I love and the ones that I want to snatch up and put into my collection. As the collection grows, it's just getting better and better and better. I'm just gonna let this spin around because this everything about the statue is just it's, it's, it's crazy. It's off the hook, man. Um, but you know, let's let's get right into the statue, man. Let's get ahead and go to the stand first. Um, this stand is 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 phenomenal, man. The stand is phenomenal. Everything about this stand is just dope. All the attention to detail, everything that they have in the statue, um, from the rocks to the branches coming out, uh, to to these um these steel looking beams that are coming out the ground. Go all the way around the back in the back they got bricks in the back with the vines going through the bricks through the stand itself um this statue came in so many pieces man it's very delicate man it was just it, it was just phenomenal man um you go up uh you see the um you see the plants and as you come up son you got these uh venus fly trap eating plants gigantic um the detail on that is phenomenal uh, they have two smaller ones in the front they got a small one uh to the right right over here and to the left of the statue they have a bigger one um so these venus fly traps are bananas man uh, the detail on them the stems that they're on all the vines wrapping up on the stems coming all the way up um if you look real good you have these uh, little two tiny red eyes on it um, it's really nicely sculpted, nicely painted. The painting on this is phenomenal. The colors and everything and the shading are, is badass, man. Um, the, the, the Venus flytrap um, mouth itself is crazy detailed. Um, it's painted real nice with the pinks and, and, the, and the soft and darker reds and all the shading they did on it is dope. Um, the bigger one is even is, is the same thing as the smaller one, but just a bigger version of it. Um, it's really nicely detailed, same thing, you got the eyes, you got the Venus flytrap tongue coming out, um, the same thing with the stem, you got the vines wrapping around the stems going all the way up, completely, completely detailed, um, you got this, uh, big rock coming out of the ground, uh, man, it's just badass, man, they got big stones on it, small stones, everything carved in it is pretty good, really, really nice, man, the paint is blowing me away, you have this giant, like giant, um, I think I guess it's a, a just a giant vine. Um, I don't think it's of the as, as a branch. It looks kind of like a branch, like, but you know it's a vine. It, it's just this big, thick, giant vine. Uh, this vine was uh, really scary to put together. Um, it's, it's two parts. It's pretty heavy. Um, you got the top part that goes all the way around through her back, which is crazy, like really crazy that they 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 went all out and did this scope on this vine. It's it's just. It's just blowing me away, man. The detail on it is phenomenal, man. The realism, um, everything they did on it, the painting with the green, the browns, and the, and the, and the mint greens, and 
they just got so many different colors on here that's blended in and it just the scope on this is phenomenal this is an epic 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 scope this right here is bad ass man like this is this is a lot of statue a lot of statue then you got the way that this vine goes all the way up and it wraps around right and then at the end of the vine you got that giant giant monstrous venus fly trap with the with the gigantic with the gigantic long fang teams and, and man it's just crazy like that right there will rip a rip a some of a bitch's chest out crazy um inside of the mouth of the venus fly trap the bigger one the real the very that, that you there's no way you cannot see that that's just there and the way that they detail the inside um the way the mouth is wide open and on the side you got the skin that's just ripping open and just it's just the detail and the paint and everything they did and then you could go all the way inside of the mouth all the way inside of the mouth is completely detailed inside they did not leave nothing out on this scope they went all out on the scope um, on the head of the Venus flytrap, you see that it have eyes. It got a four on one side. I guess it has four on the other, and it does. Um, the beautiful painted red with like gloss look is very shiny. Really nice look, man. And there's so much detail to this face, to the head of this giant Venus flytrap. And and the way that the, 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 the vines are just twisting and turning and going around the head. And then you got these um other, these looks like tentacles but they look like uh, they just more vines that are coming out uh, with spines and stuff like that these are, are I don't think this is not made of, of, of polystone or anything like that it's made of a high high density very very good high quality plastic um, and it's really really nicely made um, I'm glad that they did that with that material because um, if this falls like because some of this right here doesn't look like it's too tight in but if this falls it's gonna break but if this falls like this with this material i doubt if it's gonna break it's not gonna break it looks really good man the detail on it is phenomenal 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 <laughs> this shit got me bugging bro but um man all the way all the way to the back the way it curls around this was so it wasn't that it was difficult to put this part together because it goes together right here the seam is awesome now the seam in the bottom um i gotta work on it maybe i could get it a little bit better but i, I think i just gotta finagle it and make it go in a little bit better but you can kind of see the seam here it's, it's not like it's not completely see, completely together but even with that you can't really even tell you really can't it looks like it, it was meant to be like that um but it, i can tell you know what i'm saying um, but you know, I'm sure that that will go in a little bit more. I was just a little nervous putting this together because I'm telling you, man, that part right there where it goes together with the head and that, I mean, it, I, to me, it felt like it was going to snap. Um, the great thing about this, and, and I love the way they engineered the statue, if you look right here, they sculpted a branch. See that branch right there? That branch is actually holding up the head. I don't think it's holding it, holding it up because um where it pegged in at it's pretty strong it's pretty strong but this is giving me <laughs> owning this expensive ass statue security that this is not gonna like like snap up there one day or whatever you know what i'm saying so this is actually helping this is holding this up so it's, it's i guess it's help help holding the pressure of, of of where it's together it's just crazy man it, it's phenomenal man i love this statue so much it's just crazy it's blowing my mind away man um, I've actually had it on this turntable for three days um, before I even did the review and right here in this position Just so I could look at it and keep looking at it and it's great. So let's get to the star Of this damn movie Man Poison Ivy Now she's one whole scope. She's a complete scope um, There's no switch outs or anything for her and She doesn't need it she doesn't need no switch outs. You don't need nothing. Her face scope is phenomenal, man. It's just crazy. Let's take a look at her face scope. Now, the detail on her face scope and just the way that it looks, uh, the realism on it, the paint, the shading, and everything. Her eyes, uh, the scope on her eyebrows, her nose, the lips, uh, the color on the lips that they put with the shading, um, her hair. The sculpt of her hair is 
phenomenal. It does such a great job with the sculpt of her hair, man, and the coloring of her hair is just bad ass, bro. Like, man, they just did such, such, such a great job, man. Um, as we go down and we look at her body, um, I mean, like her, her, her breasts are huge. They, but, but it just, it's not like, um, like too much too little is perfect man it's just the sculpt on it is phenomenal man and the way they got her vines on her skin um the sculpt on the vines on her skin like right on her chest and, and just the painting the coloring and the shading that they did to it it, it just is badass man it looks like it really belongs there man um I don't, her, her dress i would i would say is a one little one piece dress um it's very nicely sculpted it's textured it does have texture on it uh to give it life it looks incredible it looks great and just that her, the position that she's in and how flat her stomach is and then the way that they sculpted it the plants and and all the leaves and everything on the dress itself and, it, and it's growing on her it, it's just badass man it's dope this is this is really really dope uh you go down to the legs uh, where her hips at and where her legs attached to the hips um, her thighs, the way the, the, the same thing, man. The vines and the, and the and the leaves of the vines and everything that's flowing on her legs and, and it's just textured. It's, it's above her, it's above her leg. It's not. It's painted, but it's the, the leaves and that are not painted on. It tech. It's actually textured. It's been sculpted. All the leaves and all the vines on her physical body, her legs, her thighs, and everything has been sculpted, and it's just been been. It's just was painted perfect. Um, I don't see no overspray or anything like that on this statue. Everything's perfect. Um, even the way her leg is just bent up like that and her ankle is curled with her toes. It's just dope, man. And how she's sitting on the, on the, on the, on the vine, branch, whatever. Um, it's just perfect. Her backside, where her butt is at, I'm just, just sitting. And it's so nice, man. It's, it's just the way that it's sculpted. It's, it's sculpted like this is a real person sitting there. It's really, really nice, man. Very, very nice. Also, if you look around the waist, on her waist, uh, there's there's vines that are going on around her waist. Um, you gotta be real careful with that too. Um, it clips in it, it clips in a peg on her back. It goes on a peg on her back. There's two different ones that get attached. The first of all, the two vein, the two vines get attached together. Then they go on her back, and then you gotta wrap these vines around her body. You gotta be really careful, even though this is made of plastic, and as you can see, you can, you know, it's, 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 it's flexible. It's not that flexible. This vine, I'm sure it goes wrapped down around here somewhere, but when I was bending this, it was going, it was, you know, making that noise. When I hear that noise, I stop. I stop. When I bend the lady's leg, oh! Man. Anyway, I stop. I had to stop because I felt like I was going to break something. So, you know, you don't want to break things, man. You definitely don't want to break things. Uh, we continue to go down her other leg, her right leg. Down to her foot, you can see um, the veins. So she got some little veins on her on the top part of her foot. Uh, going down to her toes. And, and it's phenomenally sculpted the way her foot is. Her, her little tiny toes. She looks mad cute, bro. She's a cute green mother. There's so much going on here. But it works. It's just, it tells the whole Poison Ivy story. It's just beautiful, man. Her hair, everything, man. There's a lot of things on here that you gotta be so careful about, man, that you know, you don't wanna mess up and break this shit because it's some shit. I'm speechless, man. And I know y'all saying, how you speechless, son of a bitch? You talking a lot. I know. It's all good, though. But, you know, I just wanna share this with you guys. I want to share it with you guys the way that I share it. Y'all know how I do. Um, once again, guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button right now. There's no reason for you to not be subscribing. You're watching this, man. So just, you know, we got a lot of, a whole bunch more to go. A whole bunch more to go. Um, man, but this statue is phenomenal. I got a bunch of other prime ones that are coming in on pre-order. Um, what you're going to be seeing um, back and forth now is going to be a lot of quarter scales because the quarter scales are coming in. They are going to be coming in quicker than the, the, the one-third scales. Uh, but, man, this is phenomenal. I'm so happy to bring this to you guys and, and, and share this statue with you guys and share the re my review with it to y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. 
Um, I hope you liked the way that I reviewed it my way. Um, I hope I, I gave you enough information about it, enough detail on it. Uh, this is this is badass. But man, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for you know sticking with your boy, helping your boy get closer and closer to 500 subscribers. I know 500 subscribers don't sound like much, but it sounds like a lot to me. You know what I'm saying? I've only been doing the YouTube thing for three months. You know what I'm saying? It was hard enough for me to just start doing videos. But, you know, now that I'm doing it, I'm hooked. I love it. Um, I, I just love collecting. I love showing you guys. I love showing you guys my collection. And, um, you know, uh, on October 31st, I'm going to be doing a 1.0, uh, which is going to be the first part of showing my collection. Um, I'm only going to be showing part of the collection and then we're going to do a 2.0 later and we're going to show the whole collection. But the 1.0, trust me when I tell you, it's going to be phenomenal. I'm going to blow your mind, bro. I will blow your mind when y'all see at least, you know, I'm going to show probably half of the collection uh, for Halloween. We're going to be doing a big live sick mansion Halloween ball. You know what I'm saying? Everybody going to be dressed like comic book characters in here. It's going to be bananas. You're going to see how sick mansion get down with these little parties. Uh, you know, we're going to be coronavirus safe and all that. Uh, but man, uh, I hope you guys join me on that live. I know it's a long way from today. I just wanted to mention it to keep you guys aware of it, man. And once again, man, guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Help your boy get to 500. We almost there. Share this video to your mama, to your papa, to everybody in your damn family, friends, everybody. Share the video. Let's get everybody to subscribe. Let's keep having fun. And um, I want to give a big shout out to my homie, to my right hand, to my sis. Hope you feel better. She was been feeling a little bit under the weather. Y'all all know who I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know that I'm talking about Crystal. And, um, you know, Chris, I hope you're feeling better. I love you, kid. You know what I'm saying? That's my sis, my road dog right there. Love you to death. Also want to give a big shout out to my boy, Bernie. You know what I'm saying? What's up, my dude? Um, I'm going to be putting his, uh, his, his, his information below. He's doing custom-made backdrops for Detox. They phenomenal. I'm telling you guys, if you have hot toys, even if you have the little figs, six-inch figs, uh, statues, everything, he has the dope-ass custom backdrops. Badass. Go to his website. It's in the link below. Um, hit that link below. Go to his website, check this shit out, man. His stuff is badass and it's very, very, very inexpensive. It's affordable and it's nice. It's gonna, it's gonna take your figures, statues, and everything to a whole different level. You know what I'm saying? That's what we all about in this community is to help each other out. Um, I just want to thank everybody for your support. Thank you for all your love. And oh uh, man, I hope you enjoyed this, man. Look at this. This is fire. Fire! This is fire, baby. Oh, man, I'm happy, man. This is, like, really, really dope, man. And, and the line is crazy. The line that, that just, the, the whole line is just bananas, man. So, guys, thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Y'all know how it goes. Y'all know the routine. Let's go!